What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a new release 2023 film and I'm actually really excited because for the first time in a long time I went to the theater. It is a Thursday evening when I am recording this and I went to the theater for pretty much most of the day. I think I was there like six hours and I did a double feature and I saw Ari Aster's Bo is Afraid and the new f installment in the Evil Dead franchise Evil Dead Rise and I was at the theater for a very long time and I have a lot going on in my brain about both of these movies but I'm gonna do two reviews and I'm gonna start today by talking about the first film I saw which is Ari Aster's Bo is Afraid. Bo is Afraid is directed by Ari Aster. A paranoid man embarks on an epic odyssey to get home to his mother. So I saw initial reactions when this film was first screened, when Ari Aster was doing things. I saw a lot of articles online saying A24 made a huge mistake giving Ari Aster this level of creative freedom. I heard that it was a mess, that it wasn't anything like his other two films. And so for me, I was very excited to watch this movie because of all of that. Normally a lot of the films I enjoy the most are ones that aren't really well received by general audiences. And I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I do think it has problems. I think that it's a little on the self-indulgent side at moments. It did not need to be three hours and something long. There were definitely moments that could be condensed. But I do think this is Ari Aster's most ambitious film to date. And I am really impressed with a lot of the decisions that he made. I can't say that there wasn't a moment that I was glued to the screen despite some of the uh, elements of the film taking a little bit longer to get where they need to be but as the description states we're introduced to Joaquin Phoenix's character Bo he lives in this absolutely horrible decrepit apartment in the middle of the city where chaos is constantly occurring he gets a phone call from his mother he's supposed to be going to visit his mother because it's the anniversary of when his father died so he's gonna go uh, visit his mom to go be there with her and through this crazy set of circumstances, he isn't able to go visit her and it creates tension between the two. And then the movie just kind of blows up from there. And I don't really want to get into too much detail about the different plot points because I think experiencing this thing as a whole is just the most important element of it. And obviously what Ari Aster was going for. But there really is a lot of incredible, beautiful moments in this film that really struck a chord with me. I, as I've said before, I have a really tense relationship with my father. My uh, familial dynamic is really strange. Uh, I'm really close with my siblings, but like my life has been kind of weird when it comes to all that. And so to watch a relationship between this uh, mother and son on screen and seeing kind of how the mother subtly manipulates Bo and just like the way that she treats him and the expectations set for him. It's almost like his character is so timid and unable to make decisions for himself because the entirety of the world is telling him who and what he should be. And that's so indicative of so many people in society is that we all have these expectations set for us and that we're being constantly judged every second that we live our lives. And Joaquin Phoenix does such an amazing job in this film playing a really timid and broken character who's been through so much not only in his past but currently and we see it in this very surreal way where his character is beaten up and broken and he's constantly just just getting the shit into the stick when it comes to everything and it's like such a reflection on real life in a way that is so elevated in extremism and there's so many little vignettes my favorite segments in this movie Nathan Lane's segment in particular his performance is so unhinged and incredible I loved him in this movie the whole segment between him and his wife and their young daughter some of my favorite stuff in the entire film there's this really beautiful segment in the middle section of the film that if you saw the trailer is the one where it's uh, live action mixed with animation it is so beautiful it's it's so thoughtful there's so many incredible lines of dialogue delivered through that entire sequence and uh, it, it has a, one of the wildest third acts that I've ever seen in a movie with things that I would have never expect to lay my eyes on through a runtime of a film and like I said this thing is three hours. It's a little too bloated. There are moments where I feel like it could have been trimmed down. It's very similar to, uh, I was thinking of along these lines, 
It's David Lynch's Inland Empire with a little bit more concise narrative. Ari Aster knew exactly what he was going for when he was making this film, but there's elements of it and there's moments that he dwells on things a little bit too long where he could have chopped it up a little bit more and made it a quicker, brisker runtime that probably would have held general audiences' attention a little bit more. I don't mind three hour runtimes of films when there's intentionality to it, but there were even moments in this for me that I felt like it was really dragging and that he could have picked up the pace a little. But as I said, I don't think that really takes away from the overall emotional impact of the film. There are so many sequences in this that are so vibrant and fresh in my mind that I cannot wait to revisit this because I feel like more and more, now that I know what I'm getting into, there's more that I want to look out for the next time I watch the film. And it's not like the subject matter in this is super hard to understand. There's obviously some really weird, hyper surreal moments that like you'll have to think about a little bit as to how it attributes to the overall narrative. But the, the thought and the idea Idea that it's conveying about this broken relationship between a mother and a son, how people cope with anxiety, how people cope with trauma, it's very simplistic to understand. It's not really that elated. It doesn't take a genius to have to unravel that because I know a lot of people are saying this is so confusing and there are moments that are really wild and surreal and strange that feel very otherworldly and different that might catch some people off guard but it's not like this is the most avant-garde crazy surrealist piece of cinema that's ever existed and I commend Ari Aster. Like I said this is not my favorite film in his catalog by any stretch but I do think it is his most ambitious and it is one that I am very very, very excited to revisit. Like I said, I've got a lot of things going on in my mind right now about this movie. It's impossible to talk about every element without spoiling the entire thing, and I don't want to do that because there's so many amazing moments in this that you definitely should just experience it for yourself for the first time. But I think that if you are a fan of Ari Aster or you are a fan of surrealist art house cinema, you're going to enjoy this. If you are a general audience member that does not like any of those things, you will think it is bloated and you'll hate every second of it but this is definitely something for me it's something that i really enjoyed and i'm glad i got to experience it on a large imax screen so if you've seen bo is afraid did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought i thought this movie was really great i enjoyed most of it there are very little problems that i have with it i thought it was a fantastic experience and i really can't wait to see what ari aster works on next because this is vastly different than anything he's made in the past as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day